This gun is very good for beginners, no. as it's easy to handle and it's very good time and range. Mm. Also, it's very good for hunting. The Arbol Lynx stands like at 38.5 mm -hmm. inches, and the Supercell recoil pad helps with the kick of the gun. The Mossberg 590M Shockwave. The Mossberg 590M Shockwave pump action shotgun is well known. It's very short with an overall length of 27.5 inches. You use it without a buttstock, but with a Raptor Bird's head pistol grip to reduce recoil. Well, this makes a lot it. of sense. The gun is not to aim it and control it well without a buttstock. You need to know what you're doing and have the physical stature to manage the gun. On the F side, thanks to its size and design, the shotgun is easy to maneuver and ideal for close quarter battles. Being pump fed, it's also ultra reliable. Its magazine is detachable and has a capacity of 10 rounds. The Kalishkinoff USA KS-12T. The Kalishkinoff USA KS-12T is a 12-gauge semi-automatic shotgun that resembles the good old Sega. The magazine... Wow. Okay. The magazine is detachable and gives you 10 rounds. The gun is American-made and takes the best of the Sega and makes it to American gun manufacturing quality. This gun is suitable for 3-inch and smaller shells. You can also use Sega magazines, including drums. The overall length stands at 38 inches with a barrel length of 18.25 inches. The barrel is threaded, and the gun sports adjustable rear and front sights. You get also a side-mounted rail for optics, a flash suppressor, and a collapsible stock. Seeing its size, you might think that this is one heavy piece. In reality, however, this gun is rather lightweight with only 8.86 pounds. This is also owed to the polymer magazine shaving off valuable ounces. The MKA 1919 Match Pro. The MKA 1919 Match Pro 12 gauge semi automatic shotgun resembles an AR platform. This makes it ideal for professional shooters, like law enforcement officers, but also for competitions. Being semi automatic, it's fed by a detachable magazine holding five rounds. This allows for fast reloads. Coming with an action block and a locking mm. block, wow. you get a very good performance and a smooth experience. Mm. The gas system is automated. This allows you to use two and mm. three quarter inch and three inch shells. Mm. You can shoot it fast even with the stronger round without being beaten too much by the recoil. It has an overall length of 39.5 inches and features an A2 buttstock. An integrated Picatinny rail and aluminum alloy makes it possible to attach accessories. Also, it comes with slings, oh, swivel no, studs right out of the box. Oh, no, the Remington looking. Versa Max yes. Active. The Remington Versa Max Tactical is a semi-automatic 12-gauge shotgun with a capacity of 8 plus 1 rounds and a barrel length of 22 inches. It comes with a pro-bore choke system and a tactical extended as well as an IC choke tubes. This gives you the versatility you need in a tactical environment. Coming with an oversized trigger guard, you can also easily handle this gun while wearing gloves. The overall length is 43.94 inches, but the weight is just 7.75 pounds. It comes with a comfortable black synthetic stock with an over-molded grips. Picatinny rails allow for the attachment of accessories, and don't stop yourself if you want to have a lighter laser on it. Benelli M4 Tactical. The Benelli M4 Tactical is a 12-gauge semi-automatic shotgun with a capacity of 5 plus 1 and a barrel length of 18.5 inches. Mm. Being tactical, it comes in black and with a pistol grip. The sights are adjustable with a rear aperture sight and a front sight. Being mm. ghost ring sights, you get a good picture in all weather conditions. Yeah. The pistol grip gives mm -hmm. you a better control, especially when shooting several rounds in quick succession. A full-length Picatinny mm -hmm. rail allows for the use of different optics mm -hmm. and other accessories. The overall uh, length is 40 inches with a weight of 28 pounds. Uh, there you have it, guy. Living in the USA... Getting an SBR, a short barreled rifle, this is a pain in the ass process. Mm. You have to do the NFA dance with a tax stamp and paying $200 for it. Mm. As if this is not already enough, you also have to wait and wait and wait. It takes months for it to get through. And in the end, what do you get? Well, you can install a stock and a vertical foregrip. Yeah. Is it worth it? Oh. For some it is, and others it isn't. For those who have to save themselves the weight, money, and frustration, yeah. they just have to go for a pistol with a stabilizing brace instead of the stock. However, sometimes there is just no brace available, or the gun either doesn't look good with it, or does not give you the right feeling. So or so, in the end, it's a big decision if you go pistol or go SBR. For those who think about going the route of a short-barreled rifle, well, there are some pistol-caliber guns that are actually worth it. Number five, SIG MPX 9mm. 
Sig announced a new submachine gun in 2013, surprising the shooter community. After all, who needs that? Everybody was going for compact carbines and rifle calibers that could easily outdo anything chambered for a pistol round. However, the truth is that pistol caliber weapons bigger than the pistols itself still have their value. They come with a reduced felt recoil. Their ammo is inexpensive, and the guns themselves are more on the light side of the weapon market. In other words, what is there not to like? They are, after all, pretty effective when it comes to shorter ranges. Carrying them for a long time or using them inside buildings. Hold back for... For a moment before you start to type your comments about the felt recoil. Yes, there are a lot of submachine guns out there that use a direct blowback action. This is a simple and reliable action that also does not cost an arm and a leg. It also increases reliability. But we all know it also adds weight and increases the felt recoil disproportionately. However, when it comes to high-quality pistol caliber guns, you get other types of actions. In the case of the MPX, SIG went with a short-stroke piston action. This keeps the reciprocating mass down and also reduces the felt recoil significantly. Using a lock breech, the gun does not unlock until the internal pressure drops to safe levels. This system, you get a gun that's very soft shooting and well suited using suppressors. To make this gun better for the average shooter, its ergonomics are similar to the AR-15, making it easier to transition to it. Altogether, this means that this gun is perfect for turning it into an SBR. To support the short and short barreled rifle, the receiver of the MPX is not very long, and the stock is collapsible. This creates a perfectly balanced subgun and small package. Also, the barrel can easily be swapped out. With so many positives, there comes one downside. You guessed it, it's the cost. The gun and its magazines are on the pricier side. However, shooting 9mm is cheap so that you can save here. Number 4, HK MP5 9mm. The HK MP5 is old, but still the king of the ring. This gun has been chosen by the SAS and countless law enforcement agencies, as well as other military units. Why? Because it's simply the best. Made from stamped steel, it's a little bit heavier, and it does not accept Glock magazines as unbelievable as that might sound. Okay, jokes aside, of course it's not as modular as more modern designs, but when it comes to accuracy and reliability, it just beats them all. You might want to call it the little brother of the G3 rifle as it uses the same roller delayed action. Chambered in 9mm, it shoots ultra soft. The heavier weight does its own to reduce the felt recoil. There are several versions from different manufacturers available ranging from expensive to very expensive, but completely leaving out the budget or affordable portion of the market. However, thanks to its caliber, you get cheap ammo for it. Why should you turn the MP5 into an SBR? Because it's much more comfortable to shoot with its original Palmer fixed stock than with anything else. Glassable stocks help with the size and transportation, but it is the original fixed stock that gives you the best of the best. If you go for braces, you will be even more disappointed. Then there's a problem with the MP5K, which comes with an iconic vertical grip, which is a no-go for a pistol. To make it right, it is the SBR you need. Number three, Chris Vector 10 oh, the Chris Vector chambered in 10 millimeter gives you a very controllable yet very strong SBR, being almost as powerful as some 44 Magnum loads. The Vector itself is a blowback design using a Super V recoil mitigation system. This allows you to shoot it with a very high rate of fire while still keeping it under control. The recoil mitigation system redirects the recoil impulse downward. Even in long full auto bursts, you can easily keep it on target. At the same time, the felt recoil is reduced to the levels of 9 millimeter. Now, before you get only mags with a capacity of 15 rounds for the 10 millimeter model, but now there are also Maybe magazines with a capacity bed, of 33 rounds available. My nail broke. It's my nail broke already. I'm tired. Okay, so it's cold out here. I know. Coming up this Need to keep the price down, you can work with a reloading setup. Mm -hmm. If you need a cheap looking gun, it's better to choose another one, as the advantage of this weapons are really meant for a fight, not it. just fun shooting. However, if you decide one, you get high power rounds, a good capacity, and a very reliable gun. Mm -hmm. Number two, Uzi Carbine 9mm. Granted, looking at the Uzi, you see that it's anything but an up. ultra modern gun. It's not modular, but weighs a lot. Good luck trying to see it in clock hands. No, it's just on. But enough of the trash talk. You can use it. <laughs> trash talk. I thought. Maybe it's here. But it's not just a 
just paper. These are just um. I have a blue. Oh, I'm gonna clean up my. Trash can. Just... Oh. Um, it was... <laughs> oh, this is trash. 